Power distribution plays a crucial role in ensuring a reliable and efficient supply of electricity to consumers. Within the realm of power distribution, medium voltage MV, lines are an essential component that connects the high voltage transmission lines to end users. When it comes to MV lines, there is a choice to be made between 11 kV and 33 kV voltage levels. This video aims to explore the reasons behind the preference for 11 kV MV lines over 33 kV MV lines in power distribution systems. By examining the key differences, factors influencing the choice, advantages, limitations, cost considerations, and real-world case studies. We can gain insights into why the 11 kV MV line has emerged as the preferred option for efficient and reliable power distribution. The Role of MV Lines in Power Distribution Power distribution is a critical part of our everyday lives, as it ensures the reliable supply of electricity to homes, businesses, and industries. Medium voltage MV lines play a vital role in this process acting as the intermediary between high-voltage transmission lines and low-voltage distribution networks. The Need for Efficient and Reliable Power Distribution Efficient and reliable power distribution is essential to meet the increasing demands of modern society. It enables a smooth flow of electricity, preventing disruptions and ensuring that power reaches consumers without interruptions. MV lines are an integral component of this distribution infrastructure, delivering electricity at appropriate voltage levels to various locations. Voltage levels and their impact on power distribution. The primary difference between 11 kV and 33 kV MV lines lies in their voltage levels. While both are considered medium voltage, 11 kV lines operate at a lower voltage compared to 33 kV lines. This difference impacts the capacity and distance over which power can be distributed, as higher voltages allow for greater transmission efficiency and reduced losses. Capacity and Load Handling Capabilities Capacity and load handling capabilities of MV lines are directly influenced by their voltage levels. 33 kV lines can handle higher loads and transmit power over longer distances compared to 11 kV lines. This makes 33 kV lines suitable for areas with higher power demands or locations where power needs to be transmitted over significant distances. Infrastructure requirements for each voltage level. The choice between 11 kV and 33 kV MV lines also affects infrastructure requirements. 33 kV lines typically require more robust and larger equipment, such as transformers and switchgear, due to the higher voltages involved. In contrast, 11 kV lines require less extensive infrastructure, which can result in cost savings and easier maintenance. Reliability and Stability Considerations One of the key factors favoring the use of 11 kV MV lines is their reliability and stability. Due to lower voltage levels, these lines are less prone to voltage fluctuations and are better suited for areas with a high concentration of consumers or complex power distribution networks. 11 kV lines offer a stable and reliable power supply, minimizing the risk of disruptions. Operational Efficiency and System Performance From an operational standpoint, 11 kV MV lines offer improved system performance and efficiency. The lower voltage levels result in reduced losses during transmission, ensuring that a higher proportion of the generated power reaches the end users. Additionally, 11 kV lines generally require smaller transformers, leading to improved efficiency and cost savings. Flexibility and Adaptability in Power Distribution Networks Another advantage of 11 kV MV lines is their flexibility and adaptability within power distribution networks. They can easily be integrated into existing systems or expanded to meet growing demand. This flexibility allows for efficient network planning and the ability to optimize power distribution based on specific requirements. Improved Voltage Regulation and Reduced Losses Using 11 kV MV lines in power distribution offers improved voltage regulation, ensuring a stable supply of electricity. The lower voltage levels enable better control over voltage fluctuations and losses, resulting in a more efficient and reliable distribution system. Enhanced Fault Detection and Quicker Restoration 11 kV MV lines also provide advantages when it comes to fault detection and restoration. The lower voltage levels make it easier to identify and locate faults, enabling faster response times. This swift fault detection and restoration minimize downtime, reducing disruptions for consumers and improving overall service reliability.
cost-effectiveness, and ease of maintenance. Implementing 11 kV MV lines can be a cost-effective solution for power distribution. The lower voltage levels require less robust infrastructure and equipment, resulting in reduced initial investment costs. Furthermore, the simplicity of the system allows for easier maintenance, reducing operational expenses and ensuring ongoing reliability. Higher transmission losses and voltage drop. When it comes to power distribution, efficiency is key. Unfortunately, 33 kV MV lines often fall short in this department. These lines tend to have higher transmission losses, meaning that more energy is lost along the way. Additionally, voltage drop becomes a concern with 33 kV lines, as the voltage decreases over the distance covered. These limitations can result in decreased overall system performance and increased operational costs. Increased susceptibility to faults and longer outage durations. Nobody likes experiencing power outages, but 33 kV MV lines are more prone to faults compared to their 11 kV counterparts. These higher voltage lines are more susceptible to issues like insulation failure and equipment malfunction, leading to longer outage durations and inconvenient disruptions to power supply. It's like the Murphy's Law of Electricity. If something can go wrong, it probably will, especially with 33 kV lines. Complex infrastructure requirements and higher costs. Building and maintaining a power distribution infrastructure is no easy task. With 33 kV MV lines, things can get even more complicated. These lines require more robust equipment and infrastructure due to the higher voltage levels involved. This means additional costs and complexities in terms of installation, maintenance, and safety measures. The extra effort and investment required may not always be worth it, especially when 11 kV lines provide a more practical alternative. Initial capital investment and equipment costs. Money talks, and when it comes to power distribution, cost considerations play a significant role in decision-making. Opting for an 11 kV MV line can often be the more financially sensible choice. The initial capital investment and equipment costs associated with installing and maintaining 33 kV lines are typically higher compared to their 11 kV counterparts. For budget-conscious electric companies and consumers, this can make a substantial difference in long-term expenses. Operational expenses and long-term maintenance costs. In addition to the initial expenses, it's important to consider the long-term operational and maintenance costs. 11 kV MV lines generally require less maintenance and incur lower operational expenses compared to 33 kV lines. The higher the voltage, the higher the complexity, the higher the likelihood of costly repairs and maintenance. By opting for 11 kV lines, you can potentially save some serious cash in the long run. ROI and economic viability of each voltage level. At the end of the day, it all comes down to the return on investment, ROI, and economic viability. You want to ensure that your chosen MV line not only meets your power distribution needs, but also offers good value for money. In many cases, 11 kV MV lines prove to be the more economically viable option, providing a better ROI due to their lower installation, equipment, and maintenance costs. It's hard to argue with good financial sense.